Lexi is my firstborn child, guys. I am going to cherish and love her for the rest of my life. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, hello, my name is Shayna and I am an aspiring writer. I'm currently in the middle of editing my debut novel, All About You, which you can see here on display. And she's going to be coming out November 7 of this year, so that's very, very exciting. It is a romantic comedy, as you can probably tell from the overload of pink on the cover and the hearts, um, if that wasn't already a giveaway. But yeah, and besides that, I'm also a big fangirl. So on this channel, I also gush and just ramble and yap about all of my favorite things. If you are a fan of tv shows movies k-pop gaming you can probably find that here and i'll probably be yapping about it so yeah but for this video i wanted to talk briefly about why i have chosen to self-publish my debut novel all about you as opposed to going down the traditionally published route and just for some backstory i have been wanting to be an author since i was five years old that is a whole almost 20 years ago Oh my, oh my god. god i think 18 years ago so i'm 23 now and yeah it only took me 18 years to finally like get the ball rolling and actually like achieve my dreams um but yeah i've been wanting to be a writer since i was five so this is a big dream come true for me now there is one misconception in the industry is that you need to be traditionally published to be considered to be published i don't know it's like a whole silly thing that if you are self-published it's considered the last resort but i'm like um, while i did consider traditionally publishing i actually never actively pursued it i never tried to find an agent i never queried agents the only active like the only activity i did in pursuit of traditional publishing would be i guess joining those twitter pitch events which for those of you who don't know on twitter on writing twitter there are pitch events for writers to essentially pitch their idea um in the form of a log line and agents editors publishers can like your post and you can query them and it's a whole 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 thing so that is the only thing that i did to act I guess to actively pursue traditional publishing <laughs> other than that i never really actively pursued traditional publishing yeah. oh my oh god that is such a tiny twister, twister guys how am i gonna get through this i want to get it out of everyone's head that self-publishing is not the last resort self-published authors indie authors are just as valid as traditionally published authors the only difference is of course you don't have i guess a big team behind you within that industry um you have an agent that then sources out an editor and a publisher for you and then once you sign a contract and all that then the publisher is backing you you know then they you hand over your book to them and they take care of everything they take care of the cover the title um the marketing and all of that so you have a big team of support behind you which is very really 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 good um so that's the big difference for self-publishers you are in charge of everything from literally start to finish so once you finish your manuscript then you are in charge of editing it unless you you can source out yourself like editors and your team but you are in charge of that you know you don't have anyone doing that for you one of the big defining factors that determines whether you are ready for self-publishing or not is whether you are you know ready to really market and just pour everything into your work so that is the big difference but besides that you know it doesn't matter if you're self-published or traditionally published if you finished a whole body of work a whole like i don't know 80,000 words 50,000 words even 20,000 words you are an author and it doesn't you don't need to be officially published to even be considered an author if if you have finished a solid body of work that is solely yours solely your characters then you are an author and if anyone says that you are not then they are losers and they belong in the <laughs> like who are they have they written a book no i don't think so and if they've written a book then they're just bullies and they should be cancelled you know cancel i don't like cancel culture but you should cancel authors that like put down other authors because what the hell um lose all respect for anyone like that so like you're not an actual author to me that's when you can say that they're not an author if they're doing that but anyways that's besides the point so why did i decide to self-publish so the biggest biggest defining factor for me in choosing to self-publish is creative control as i mentioned before when you're self-publishing you are essentially in charge of everything when i found out that when you're traditionally published you don't get 100% creative control that was like mm, for me um they can decide your title so i was like i thought that we decide the title um they can decide whether they want you to change the ending to fit a certain market and i was like 
it should be about the story not about the market but that's a whole different discussion they just decide a lot of things and i think when i heard that they can make you change that ending if they want you to fit a market of course like not every industry like not every publishing house does that but you know like that's what i heard um and i just don't want to be exposed to that you know i want to be in charge of my characters of my ending and how the story is told so the biggest defining factor for me was creative control i wanted to be in charge of so i made this cover all by myself um i sketched it i thought of like you know the whole like holding hands with the hands behind the back um cross behind the back because there, it's a fake dating story and yeah this took me a while of course but i really enjoy doing graphic design and illustrations and all that so that was a big enjoyment for me i also had to format the inside um i can of course hire someone but i wanted to see if i could do it myself so i was in charge of how the book looks inside um at the moment if you can see let me just put my microphone down don't fall if you can see oh yeah the formatting came out weird but like i did all of that so you know like i had to do the whole spacing and like what do you call the sizes and all that i'm still learning now it gives me a headache and i had to buy my isbns which is the serial number that is very um unique to your book so every book needs us an isbn you know i'm still sourcing out the platforms that i'm going to self-publish on but at the moment the biggest one is amazon uh, kdp which is where a lot of self-published authors look to to self-publish their works but creative control is the biggest biggest reason why i wanted to self-publish especially for my debut novel i want to debut as an author with a work that is a hundred percent mine that i have had a hundred percent control over i don't want to change the story in any shape way or form if i don't think it is true to what i believe is authentic for the characters you know i know the characters and i know what message the main character and the, the whole message of the story is very very personal to me and who i am as a romance lover so i wanted my first work and especially this work to just be 100 percent mine the second thing is that i just want my book out already i don't want to wait years i don't want to wait months and years to finally have my book out you know for people to read i want my book to be read now like in the present and for a second i was like am i rushing it too much am i you know um just trying to get it out for the sake of it getting out but no i just really really want my works to be out i don't want to linger on it for too long because if i linger on it for a while then it's like i'm gonna overthink it you know so i gave myself a deadline for self-publishing even querying an agent itself querying an agent takes so much time i've seen people who have queried for six months for years and that's just getting an agent like once you get an agent it doesn't mean you're going to get published then after you find an agent you have to put your book on submission for a public an editor to buy it to have it published for you and even that can take years i'm like i don't want to wait that long to finally hold my book in my hands it's my dream and I don't want to have to wait so long to finally achieve that dream, you know, and I'm willing to sacrifice, I guess, having my book on shelves, which is still, that is still a big dream of mine, but, you know, I'm willing to compromise that for keeping my creative control and having it published already you know one thing that upsets me is when writers are rejected countlessly by agents you know that aren't just the right fit but i don't like seeing these writers put their worth on these agents because at the end of the day writing is subjective the most hated book is still loved by a handful and the most loved book can still be hated by a lot of people and i would know because there are a lot of loved book talk books that i just don't like at all um and that's okay i'm not saying that they are bad books you know or it's not my part to say this is terrible it should never have been published it's just that i don't personally like it and it's just like with agents you know maybe it's just not their preference and sometimes they say that they don't see like a market for it or they're not sure how they can back it because they're meant to be you know connected to the work to essentially sell it to other people how are they meant to sell it if they don't feel connected to it and i feel like that's just so hard because what if your book just has every it is my belief that every single work body of art has an audience out there i don't care how niche it can be how many people say it's unmarketable that's bull okay there is always going to be an audience for your work no matter how niche you are no matter how absurd a story is and even if it's 
not the trendiest topic or if it's not the trendiest trope or whatever there's still going to be people like you that will read your book so i don't know just the whole aspect the whole thought of trying to find that someone who connects with your story as you are it just it just upsets me when i see other authors put all their worth in that you know i think those are the three main reasons why i wanted to self-publish biggest one being creative control second one one being i think it was the time limit like i don't want to wait years for my book to finally be out and third one is that i just don't agree with the market or how the publishing industry the traditionally published interest industry <laughs> industry chases what's the most marketable or what's the most trendy you know i just oh god i went to film school so i know all about having to market towards a certain audience and seeing what is currently like the biggest hottest thing you know and i just don't agree with molding yourself to fit a certain market because there's always going to be a market out there you know um but yeah, anyways, so that was just my little yapping video about why I decided to self-publish my baby all about you, which is coming out November 7, wink wink. And um, I am still going to make a video all about, <laughs> all about, all about you. And I will be talking about all the characters, the plot, of course, spoiler free, characters, plot, and all of that. So you can wait and wait in anticipation it's not the same thing wait in anticipation oh my god you can look forward to that video um because i keep putting it off but i promise i will film it one day but yeah so look forward to my self-published baby it has been a lot of work guys i'm not saying that it's the easiest option it is so so much work like the mental breakdown i had trying to format this but it is so worth it it's so rewarding you know holding this in my hands i'm like i would go through the formatting hell all over again and i will have to because i did it wrong so if you have clicked on this video because you are curious about why i'm self-publishing or if you are an aspiring author and you don't know whether self-publishing or tra traditional publishing is the right route for you or if you just clicked on this but are not necessarily like a writer or a reader um and you're just curious then i appreciate all of you um, thank you for watching this far. I hope that you join me on my journey of self-publishing my first book as well as, I don't know, just chilling with me, um, watching me yap about different things. And yeah, if you like this video, then please show your support by liking this video. Like, And if you're interested in following my journey, then please do subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next few videos. So yeah.